Hello. It was at the start of the 10th century that the Norse Vikings first settled in the area of Wirral around Mels. Today, there are many places in the area whose name is derived from these early Viking settlers. So, where did these early Vikings come from exactly? Let me set up my ethnoscope visual transducer to see if we can link up with Linda and Sonny, who live in the Wirral. They've been living in Dublin for many years, building boats, Dublin, Wexford, Waterford, all along the Irish coast, and they were basically expelled. People say that the Norse leader, Ingemund, had first planned to cross the Irish Sea and attack Anglesey, but without much success. So he decided on a more peaceful approach. Ingerman left Ireland in 902 in the Christian calendar. And when he got to the Wirral, um, he was able to arrange with the Mercian king, who was uh, sick, but his wife arranged that they could settle in the north of the Wirral. Ethelfleda was very shrewd and she put the Vikings on the north of the Wirral. The land wasn't very good, but she thought it was better to have them as friends than trying to invade as they had in Anglesey. So she gave them everything on the Wirral north of Raby, and the name BY, it means the border farm. So they weren't allowed to settle any closer to Chester than Raby. Tell us about the shopping opportunities in the area. Mel's had been a vital harbour since before people lived here. It was, it was an amazing trading place. The biggest car boot sale in the world, if you like. The, the beach there had always been really important. And for the Vikings to be given that, to trade from, as traders with boats, it fulfilled every ambition that they could have. They also had control of both rivers. So they were very, very happy with that. Sounds like they had everything they needed. All Vikings were a mixture of raiders, traders, farmers, fishermen. They turned their hand to anything, depended upon the times. So if a warrior was needed, they could take up swords. But if a farmer was more productive, then they would farm. Of course, Vikings didn't just settle over on the Wirral. There are lots of place names on this side of the river that are of Viking origin. You might even live there too. Croxteth, Toxteth, Kirkdale, Egbeth, Aintree, West Derby and Chilwell, to name just a few. 